Welcome to Dorset. Today we're at Evening Hill and we're here for sunset. Great to see you all again guys, thanks so much for joining me. Today we've made a little bit of a mad dash out here to Evening Hill in Poole. It's uh, again another local venue to me, just around the corner, but um, conditions look very, very dodgy all day. There was nothing much happening, no light, and then right at the last knockings, with roughly about half an hour to go till uh, sunset, just had a little bit of clear sky coming out, uh, just where the sun's gonna set. So. I'm ever so hopeful that we might actually get something and it might colour up. At the moment, we're looking at the uh, jetty just behind here and we're hoping that a little bit of light will actually fall on this jetty uh, and we'll capture something. But at sunset, we're going to go to the other side of it because the tide is on the drop at the moment and it's a very, very flat shelf here. So, uh, you know, it should drop by the rate of, um, well, it will be almost out to the end of the jetty by sunset, hopefully. But uh, we should be able to easily cross, as I say, very, very shallow, and uh, we should be able to aim back and look towards the jetty. It's also threatening a little bit of rain at the moment, and there's some clouds either side that look very, very dodgy. So uh, I'm not 100% sure how we get on, but we're certainly gonna try our best. I do like these sessions where they're completely unplanned and it's just a mad dash to get out. Um, they don't always produce something, but sometimes they can produce absolutely spectacular results. So uh, we're really, really hopeful tonight that we might get something. The jetty itself is rather unusual at the moment because usually you've got boats all the way going along the uh, mooring posts here. But uh, because we've got this situation with COVID-19 at the moment, uh, all the boats are out of the water. So we've got a completely clean jetty. So it's a really unique chance to get a shot of uh, something a little bit different that you'll uh, normally see. Usually it's got boats all the way down there, which again is lovely. And I've taken some lovely pictures down here before where all the boats are in, including uh, some nice long exposures. But um, you know, it's really, really nice to have it, such a sort of a clean look to it with no boats on there at all. So uh, I'm really, really hopeful we might actually get something reasonable today. At the moment that cloud is still just uh, just behind but there is clear patches opening up so I'm really really hopeful that this light is going to come on uh, and uh, just you know land on the jetty here if it doesn't though we've still got the uh, the option of sunset from the other side assuming that this water level drops just enough which I think it will and if it doesn't I'm equipped with boots and I've got no problem with having a, a little wade across there to get into the other side so uh, either way we should be able to get a decent position uh, for the shot. I wouldn't say this is a particularly great venue, but uh, again, being locked down, being on my doorstep, it's something that you've just got to go for really. Um, and you have to shoot what you've got around you. This happens to be one of the areas. So uh, I'm going to give it a go. One thing we have got here, which I'm kind of keen to avoid, we've got a security gate on the jetty itself just at the back here. And um, if you stand anywhere sort of that side of it, you're obviously going to get it in shot and it's not a particularly nice looking subject. And it kind of ruins uh, what you're trying to photograph really. So we've purposely gone onto the uh, 24 105 lens today so we can shoot past that and uh, not include it in our compositions. Um, there is the possibility once it drops down, we could actually climb up and get onto the jetty. But I've got to be honest, I'm not 100% sure if you're allowed to do that or not. So we'll probably err on the side of caution today and uh, won't do that, although I have done it in the past. I really would be much sooner further out into the uh, the sea here so we can actually get a better angle on this jetty. Um, we're not going to get quite the, uh, the best angle here and of course it's going to cause an awful lot of negative space. Uh, the best way I can think to really sort of resolve that is to, uh, to do a large panorama with it, which, um, you know, if I get a decent angle, that's probably what I'll do. Um, enable us to get rid of all of that space up at the top and at the bottom and concentrate on exactly what we're here for, which is the jetty. Uh, the light is reasonable at the moment, but it's still concentrated too far around this way. We really need the sun to come further round for this particular shot to work really well. But then, of course, we're going to cast a shadow into the shot. So it's a, you know, a double-edged sword, really. You get what you want with one thing, but you lose it with the other. So uh, I think our best plan is still to wait until sunset and see if we can get some nice colour uh, on the jetty just behind it and cross over to the other side here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's still, it's really, really nice to be out, to be honest. So uh, yeah, I'm going to make the most of it. But uh, slightly worried, there is a big bank of cloud now starting to move in on the horizon over there. So it's not looking as good as it did earlier on, but um, 
you know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I mean, it could break up a little bit. So uh, yeah, we we'll just have to hang in there and see. Lights just coming out. I'm gonna start taking some pictures and see if we can get something of this nice jetty out here. See you in a minute. Cup seagulls, you t Okay, so we've wandered to the other side of the jetty now and uh, we're shooting towards where the sunset is. The tide is still on the drop at the moment, so uh, we've still got enough sort of area to, uh, to get through here. It's a little bit uh, deep in some places, but uh, the vast majority of it you can get and walk around it whilst the tide's dropping down. But um, the sun has, as you can see, gone behind the uh, clouds there, but there's still some odd gaps in the clouds. So I'm not giving up hope. There is still a good possibility of a, a reasonable sunset here. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep waiting, watching conditions, seeing what happens and seeing how we get on. There's a little bit of interesting color sort of forming over on the other side of the jetty as well. So it's possible I might flip uh, in between the two sides. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on everything at the moment and seeing where uh, I think our best chance is gonna be. Um, at the moment, we're uh, only about 10, 15 minutes away from sunset. So uh, hopefully we should start to uh, see where it's gonna color up and uh, if indeed it will color up, but uh, hopefully we should be able to nail something over here. At this point, everything went a bit blurry. I totally lost my ability to talk to camera because this happened. Sorry to have left you there for a bit, guys, but we've just had a fantastic sunset and I, I was just rushing around like a mad thing. It was really, really short-lived and I was just trying to make the most of it, but uh, oh, it was absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, uh, I left the camera on recording various bits and pieces as I was moving around, so I should be able to show you the sunset as it unfolded, but in terms of actually taking the pictures, there's not going to be an awful lot of that, I'm afraid, but uh, short to say, it was amazing and I'm so pleased I came down. It was on a complete chance. Um, it was looking like there was some potential but I had no idea it was all going to go off like that. I absolutely love moments like this. It's just so exhilarating. I mean I live for my landscape photography. I absolutely adore doing it but when you get a scene like this and it comes out of nowhere and you've called it right, it just makes everything just that little bit sweeter. I'll stick a couple of the pictures up. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your views.
What an evening. I'm so pleased I came out. I mean, it just came out of nowhere, this one. Uh, it's just a case of reading conditions and uh, a little bit of luck on this occasion. So uh, it's well worth doing that in future. You know, just keep an eye on the weather. The forecast said it was just going to be dark cloud, but uh, I just kept watching. I kept seeing it's like a small gap there and uh, just uh, decided to go for it. So I'm pleased I did. Not going to be lots and lots of different images on this particular one, simply because you know, there's one jetty here, there's not an awful lot else to shoot with it, and uh, there's very little you can do. I'm governed by how far I can go out because of the sea, but uh, hopefully we've got a couple of reasonable images on here, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Evening Hill. I really do appreciate you tuning in, and uh, it would really make my day if you could hit that like button if you've enjoyed what you've seen today. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. Thanks again. Take care. I'll see you next time.